Hey guys, it's Erica here from Minding Business and I wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to complete those SBA small business disaster loan applications. So you're going to go to sba.gov forward slash disaster. Once you get there, you're going to come to this main page. Now on this main page, you will see um, some information about how to get through disasters, how to get help, who qualifies for the SBA loan. But for the sake of this video, um, we're going to go ahead and scroll to the top. We're going to look at the coronavirus uh, disaster loan and click here. Once you get there, you're going to be taken to this main page, this first page. Uh, it's going to show you your expiration date, control number, and it is going to ask you a few verification, eligibility verification questions. Those questions just help them decide on if you are um, eligible to even uh, fill out the application for the loan. Um, most small businesses will be the first set of questions asked about uh, mainly the amount of employees you have, how the business is set up. Most people are going to select that first one that says um, under 500 employees. The second set of uh, things for you to check off, you should be checking off every last one of these and hitting continue. For the sake of this video, we're going to go ahead and select the first one and check off all of these boxes. Make sure you read over them first. We're going to hit continue. Then you're going to be taken to your first uh, step, step one. It's going to ask you for your business legal name. It's also going to ask you for a trade name. If you have one, that would be your DBA or doing business as your EIN. Um, if you are a sole proprietor, that would be your social security number and your organization type. Um, it is also going to ask you a few questions about your gross revenue and your cost of goods sold. Hopefully you have that information on hand. You definitely need it. Um, then it's going to ask you for your primary business address. Now you cannot use a PO box. You need to have um, an address, an actual street address there. It's also going to ask you um, some contact information when you establish your business. Um, so make sure you have your articles next to you if you do not remember the date that you established your business. The next uh, set or next step is going to be business owners information. It's going to ask you um, some personal information about your finances, things like that. It's also going to ask you for some additional information, which would be tax returns, um, all of your schedules from your tax returns for your corporate tax returns and personal. And um, it's going to need a transcript. So it's going to have you fill out a uh, paper for them to get the transcript, transcript for your taxes. Uh, and it will also more than likely ask you for a personal financial statement. Um, once you submit all of those things, you will be able to submit your application. Now, they are, they are seeing that it's going to take um, some time, but if you have any questions, call that number or send them an email. They are backed up, but I hope this video helps out a